Hello everyone, welcome back to Draw Along Lenten and thank you so much for all your octopus drawings that you have sent in. Um, you can find them, I've shared them on my Twitter and Instagram. Thank you so much for all those fantastic drawings, especially the ones when you've coloured them in and used so many creative patterns and colours. Well done, good work. Now today we are going to be drawing Kitty LaClaw. If you know the Shifty McGifty and Slippery Sam series, you might know Kitty LaClaw. She's known for disguise and for breaking the law. Um, me and Tracy Cordroy, who wrote this book, we always have to say, we can't say Kitty LaClaw without saying she's known for disguise and for breaking the law. Um, now, if you don't know her, you might guess, as she's dressed up as a robber, she is indeed a robber cat. <gasps> Look, I'll read you a tiny bit. <sighs> it's Kitty LaClaw. Ha ha, shouted Kitty, you'll never catch me. We will, yelled the dogs as they both wriggled free. But Kitty was fast as the moon lit her way. I fooled you, she sniggered. I tricked you. Hooray! That's right, she's Welsh, if you hadn't noticed. No, she's French. So we are going to have a go at drawing Kitty Leclaw. So get your pens, paper, crayons ready. If you're colouring in, you will need a brown crayon, a pink crayon, a black crayon, a white crayon. No, a range. You can colour any uh, colour her any way you like. Uh, and let's get going. Okay, so Kitty the Claw starts like this. We're going to be near the top of our page, and she has got a head that is shaped a bit like that, a bit like the top of a car. Okay, and then her face comes down and round like this down and round like this. It's sort of a, like a lemon shape really. And then she's got two large-ish ears. One comes out here like that and down. And then one comes up here like that and down. Looking definitely more cat-like. And then she's got two more shapes inside those ears like that. One like that and one like that. Okay taking shape already. Now we're going to draw her eyes next. Now we need to be careful with this. Actually no, I'll tell you what, we're going to draw her nose. I have practiced this obviously <clears throat> a few times. Her nose is a triangle in the middle of her face like that. Now she wears a black mask around the centre of her face over her eyes but we're not going to draw that first because then if you draw the eyes inside that they'll be too small. So there's a top tip. If you're drawing a mask or something like that then make sure you draw the eyes first and her eyes are like this. They are very sneaky, feline -y, leaf shape eyes and she's looking over here. She's looking, if you're drawing a, a baddie or someone who looks a bit shifty and it's good to have their eyes looking one or the other sides. Now we can draw her mask around her eyes. So it goes like this, down, and this, and down, and then just comes around and down over her nose. Make sure you don't go over her nose. Now it looks a bit weird, but then we're going to colour this bit in. There you go. So you make sure you leave the whites of her eyes like that. And then colour this side like that and there you go it gives you her shifty character now she's got eyelashes three two three one two three and she's got eyebrows as well now one is going to be going up and one is going to be going down up like that she's looking all mysterious okay now for her snout she's got one line that comes up and one line that comes up like that She's got whiskers. Now whiskers are quite tricky. You've got to be confident. You've got to go one, two, three like this. One, two, three. If you're using a pen like I am, go lighter with your whiskers. So one, two, three. Not bad. If you do them really heavy, they look a bit too fat for whiskers. Okay, now she's got three little freckles where her whiskers come out of like that. And that is Kitty LaClaw's face. Now we're coming down. I'm going to extend her neck a little. We're going to draw the top of her robber dog outfit, which is sort of a triangle really. It comes down like this and down like that. Just when I say triangle, I don't mean a triangle at all, do I? It's a sort of a elongated rectangle at the bottom. I've never been very good with shape. Shape names. Now she's going to be 
one hand on her hips like this. So we've got her arm coming down and round like that. And we're gonna draw her hand in like that. Three little lines like that to make her paw. And then the other one, she's going to be holding her swag bag. So draw two lines coming down like that, like that. And then she's going to be holding her swag bag. So do one, two, three, four lines for her paw like that. And then she's holding her swag bag. So the swag bag is a triangle. That's the end of the swag bag. And then the rest of the swag bag comes down and round. Now I'm going to leave the rest of the swag bag until we finish her feet because I want it to come down and touch the ground where her feet are. And we're not exactly sure where they're going to be yet. So let's hold our horses. Let's hold our kittens and put a bit more detail on Kitty. Now again, because she's a rubber dog, like shifting somewhere at the beginning, we need to draw some stripes along to make her look like a burglar. There we go. So draw lots of stripes down and down her arm as well on her sleeve and down this one, down this one, down this one. Now that's all well and good, but it's not very rubber doggy, doesn't it? D rubber doggy, rubber catty, because they're all white. So let's leave the top one white, colour the second one, leave this one white, and colour this one. Leave that one white, colour this one. You'll have more time than I've got here. Then again, same down her arm, leave one white, and colour one in black, white, black, white, black, red, black. There we go. Now she looks more like a bird, doesn't she? Now I'm going to draw her legs. Now they come down and out like that. Funny at the moment. Down and out. So down, round, out. And then to form the rest, you do a U shape like that. Her legs up. So it's funny. Cats have funny shaped legs and dogs do as well. I've tried to simplify it as much as possible, but keeping that catty feel. And then we need to put her, her feet or paws at the bottom like that. So just draw a line out and down. Make sure it all joins up. And it's down and along. And add two paw marks like that. So she looks like a cat. Now we can finish off the swag bag, which comes down and round down and round like that so it would be on the same floor if you like you can write swag on it s w a g there you go and i'll put a couple of patches on as well some square patches on the edges and as if they're sewn on so add a bit of sewing detail on the side there we go now she's a cat do you think she's finished what do cats have that I haven't drawn yet? Can anyone guess? <gasps> That's right, she has a tail. Quite a long curly tail that comes up, round like that. And then carry it round and down and make it thinner towards her bottom. So the bottom. There we go. And that is how you draw Kitty LeClaw. She's known for disguising them, breaking the law. I'm gonna sign my remember to put your name on when I show them on Twitter and my other social medias, then we will see your name in lights. Well, Twitter. So I hope you enjoyed that. That was Kitty LeClaw from Shifty McGifty and Slippery Sam, the cat burglar. There you go. Can't wait to see them. So how did you get on today? I cannot wait to see your Kitty LeClaws. Now remember, just because she's wearing a rubber top in my drawing, you could always put her in different clothes or her striper top could be different colours. Now, we don't really know what happens to Kitty LeClaw at the end. She does get carted away by the police. And in the end papers, I always put lots of extra detail in the end papers. Look, she gets put in the police van and she gets carried away, but she does appear in one of the other Shifty Fiction stories. And I'm not really allowed to say anything, but you might see her again soon in something. Oh, exciting. But, right, share your drawings, please. I would love to see them. I'll make sure I share them with Tracy and the whole Nosy Crow, the publisher team. Um, use hashtag draw along Lenten. And I cannot wait to see them. See you next week.